Good evening, senores. Can I help you? Um, yes, we're with the young ladies over here. Go ahead, enjoy your dinner. Thank you. Thank you. Hello there. I should apologize for not inviting you back to our room this afternoon, but it was such a mess when we got there. It was? Like and destroyed. You two are going to tell us everything you know about our father's disappearance, or we're going to shake it out of you. And we're going to keep shaking until you tell us the truth. I think there's been a large misunderstanding. Good evening, Mr. Cartel. I'm sorry, I didn't have a reservation for you, but if you will... Uh, my just... usual table will be adequate. Uh, besides, there's some very good friends I must say hello to. Uh, warm a decanter of Rothschild 67. Right away, sir. You came up to us and said that you just had to talk to a fellow American. That's the code phrase. Almost. I'm sorry, but we really did need to talk to a fellow American. We don't know your father. When I think back on our conversation, what you two must have been thinking. <laughs> we thought you were two of the fastest workers we'd ever met. <laughs> All of which means we're no nearer to finding our father. Excuse me, uh, perhaps I might be of some help in that regard. You're Frank and Joe Hardy. I recognize you from your father's photograph. You know our father? But of course. He's been staying with me for a couple of days. Uh, you see, we're old friends. And for some reason, he didn't want to stay at a hotel. Uh, I don't know why. Your father can be most secretive. I'm afraid you have us at a disadvantage. Uh, forgive me. Sometimes a familiar figure forgets to acquaint himself with strangers. I'm Alexander Cartel. Hey, do. Pleased to meet you. Cartel. I don't think I remember my father mentioning that name. Well, we haven't seen one another for many years. Well, uh, let me introduce you to some friends. Jackie, Sue, Mr. Cartel. Ladies, I'm delighted. I don't believe your father knew that you were coming down to Mexico. Where is he? Oh, he had to fly to Mexico City, some urgent business. Uh, he should be back tomorrow. Oh, perhaps you gentlemen could join us at my home for dinner tomorrow night. I own the estate on the hill overlooking the harbor. Perhaps you've noted it. That'd be wonderful, thank you. Fine. Until tomorrow night, then. Ladies. I think we just made our first real contact. Just what is it that you guys are into? We don't know yet. There's something about that man. I can't put my finger on it, but I don't trust him. Neither do we. That's why we're seeing him. Well, I guess this is where we better part company. Um, couldn't we just negotiate for dinner? There's nothing you can do about your father tonight. I think we could be persuaded.
That was a foolish thing to attempt, Senor Hardy. that exists by that name. I have proof. I know. And your sons have that proof. Yes, they're here. You almost lost one on the cliff today. So they're all right. I'm afraid Carlos exceeded his orders. They'll give me what I want. They're gambling with your life. They're my sons. They won't betray my confidence. Another life in the balance uh, may help that decision. It was all so long ago. Our friendship should have transcended boundaries. And loyalties, too, huh? It's all corrupt. You know that as well as I do. The ultimate loyalty is to survive. I'm just sorry you forced me into this. That was really fun, you know. Uh, they're pretty nice. They were nice. I'm gonna go inside. Okay, I'll meet you back in the room. I'm tired. Okay. shot. Thank you. Pull! You have a beautiful place here. It uh, serves my needs. I wonder if I could see the room my father was staying in. Are all those things still there? Yes. But why should you want to see his room? Pull! My father usually keeps a notebook with him when he's working on a case. If he doesn't have it with him, then it may still be in the room. It might give us a clue to his disappearance. Disappearance? He hasn't disappeared. I told you he's gone to Mexico City. He'll be back in 24 hours. I think my father could be in serious trouble. Oh, I'm distressed to hear that. Pull! As I told you, your father's most secretive when he's working. All he told me was he was searching for someone here in Acapulco. Now, if we knew who that person was, do you know? If I knew, then I'd be acting on that information. I'm glad to hear you say that. If there's anything you need, please let me know. This is my city. I'll remember that. Oh! 